Hello friends, welcome to my channel Mathal Kauli for a second. I am sorry to be a bit late due to various reasons I could not attend the regularity of making of my videos but uh, I promise I will be regular from now. So coming to question number 14 of exercise 2.2 that deals with inverse trigonometric functions we have if sine sin of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to 1 then find the value of x. So it is pretty simple if you look at it like this way. Sine inverse sine of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x is equal to 1 all right now if we take sine inverse on both the sides taking sine inverse on both sides we have sine inverse of sine of sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x see there are a variety of methods to solve it but this i find is the most simple method of solving now since we are dealing with the principal values only and since it is the most preferable form of treatment to a inverse trigonometric function we have see sign of anything will be lying from minus 1 to 1 so we can easily write sine inverse of that as just this just this angle okay so it is going to give us sine inverse 1 by 5 plus cos inverse x sine inverse of sine will cancel out with each other if we look in that sense so we'll be staying with this that is equal to sine inverse of 1 in the principal range is pi by 2 all right now see let's look at it this way we have the variable as cos inverse x here and we have sine inverse 1 by 5 here let's bring sine inverse 1 by 5 to the right hand side so we are left with cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus sine inverse 1 by 5 okay and pi by 2 minus sine inverse x is cos inverse x as you know so that is going to be cos inverse 1 by 5 okay so since cos inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 by 5 x is equal to 1 by 5 because this is the simplest solution there is there is no other way for x to be x should be equal to 1 by 5 okay now so this completes question number 14 there are many methods to solve it once again i am saying the one is you can take it in the form of sine of a plus b but that will make things more complicated and i want to make it as simple as i can so this is the simplest solution involving the principal ranges if you have to understand it more clearly which is not required in boards you can post further in comment section i will personally account for that okay now coming to question number 15 we, we have this simple we are given tan inverse x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus tan inverse x plus 1 by x plus 2 that equals pi by 4 and we need to compute the value of x so let's solve it so see we will be applying one formula that we know that we are comfortable with that is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y that will be giving me tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y if you remember so this this is going to be tan inverse of the first plus second by 1 minus this first term into second term okay so this is going to be equal to pi pi by 4 all right now if we simplify it inside the bracket we'll be getting x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus x plus 1 into x minus 2 and this x minus 2 into x plus 2 the lcm at the denominator will be going down and will be cancelling with this denominator so we can directly write it like this x minus 1 x plus 2 plus x plus 1 into x minus 2 by x minus 2 into x plus 2 minus x minus 1 into x plus 1 as this this term x minus 2 into x, x plus 2 gets can, cancelled in both the numerators and denominators this will be giving us pi by 4 so this is further giving me and after simplification this will be giving you 2 into x square minus 2 by minus 3 if you simplify it you can simplify it yourself this is equal to pi, pi by 4 now 
since tan inverse of something is equal to pi by 4 we can write that tan pi by 4 is equal to this so 2 into x square minus 2 by minus 3 is equal to tan pi by 4 we will be hoping that this domain lies in the specified domain of tan inverse and well it is so tan inverse pi by 4 we know is, is equal to 1 so transferring it to the right hand side and solving further so we have 2x square minus 4 is equal to minus 3 that will be giving us 2x square is equal to 1 okay so we are getting x square minus half is equal to 0 that will be giving us x plus 1 by root 2 into x minus 1 by root 2 is equal to 0 so therefore x is equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 okay hence we can write the solution is x is equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 both the values are accepted as you can cross check here so you can always cross check a value because there is no necessity that both this value should have to be acceptable okay so you need to check with the first equation with the first equation form you have to put x equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 in this this equation to verify whether both these values 1 by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2 are accepted or not and well as it is clear it is accepted so this completes the two questions in the next video i'll be completing this exercise completely so i think you have understood this you have no doubts if you have any kind of doubt please feel free to use the comment section i'll be meeting you in the next video thank you very much for watching this video